December 11, 2017 Individuality Jesus said to his disciples, If anyone desires to come after me, let him deny himself. Matthew 16 24 Individuality is the hard outer layer surrounding the inner spiritual life. Individuality shoves others aside, separating and isolating people. We see it as the primary characteristic of a child, and rightly so. When we confuse individuality with the spiritual life, we remain isolated. This shell of individuality is God's created natural covering designed to protect the spiritual life. But our individuality must be yielded to God so that our spiritual life may be brought forth into fellowship with Him. Individuality counterfeits spirituality, just as lust counterfeits love. God designed human nature for Himself but individuality corrupts that human nature for its own purposes. The characteristics of individuality are independence and self-will. We hinder our spiritual growth more than any other way by continually asserting our individuality. If you say, I can't believe, it is because your individuality is blocking the way individuality can never believe. But our spirit cannot help believing. Watch yourself closely when the Spirit of God is at work in you. He pushes you to the limits of your individuality where a choice must be made. The choice is either to say, I will not surrender, or to surrender, breaking the hard shell of individuality which allows the spiritual life to emerge. The Holy Spirit narrows it down every time to one thing, see Matthew 5 24 It is your individuality that refuses to be reconciled to your brother, Matthew 5 24. God wants to bring you into union with himself but unless you are willing to give up your right to yourself, he cannot. Let him deny himself, deny his independent right to himself. Then the real life the spiritual life is allowed the opportunity to grow.